This video is guides only and we are going to talk about how to correctly identify hair loss, when to start medical treatment, when to consider hair transplant. Stay tuned with Tiny Medicine. We are talking about androgen alopecia here, which is also known as male pattern baldness. I'm using the Hamilton Norwood classification to guide us through in this video. First, you are going to need a photo of you from the side view. It's okay, you don't need a professional photographer, just ask your buddy. If the photo is anything like this, or in other words, if there are no triangular recessions of the hairline at temporal areas, congratulations, you don't have hair loss, you only need assurance. We call it the Norwood stage 1. Now let's talk about the other Norwood stages. When you see triangular hairline regressions at the temporal areas, then it could be either the Norwood stage 2 or stage 3. We can differentiate it by simply drawing a vertical line at the anterior border of the ear. If the regression hasn't come near this line, then you have a Norwood stage 2 pattern. Stage 2 is not considered as baldness, but it could be a sign of an ongoing baldness or it could just be the mature hairline. So should you see a doctor when you have the Norwood stage type 2, it is debatable. If you are anxious about it, go see a doctor. A good doctor can separate the true hair loss from the mature hairline. He or she will look for signs of miniaturizations of hair which is clearly indicating an ongoing hair loss. If you have a family history of baldness or if you notice further thinning of hair, then again it is best if you consult a doctor. Most doctors prefer to start medical treatment at this stage but hair transplant is usually not done. Norwood stage 3 is characterized by deep regressions at temporal areas. If the regressions have come very close or extended beyond the vertical line we drew earlier, then it is more likely to be Norwood stage 3. At this stage, some people may also notice hair loss at the vertex area. The medical treatment might work, but this is the ideal stage 4 hair transplant. Stage 4, 5 and 6, they all have both the temporal and vertex hair loss. In the stage 4, there's a thick band of hair separating these two bald patches. But in stage 5, the band gets slightly thinner. In the stage 6, the band is very thin. In stage 7, the band is completely gone. Two patches unite to give the typical horseshoe patterned hair. For these late stages, you must always consult your doctor. You can still be eligible for hair transplant. And mind you, medical treatment also may work. That's it guys. If you have any questions, comment here. Subscribe if you like my videos.